I am Lamont at large today. I am at the benevolent number 11 cemetery here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So as you can tell, even though technically this isn't an abandoned cemetery, depending on subjective public opinion, uh, this cemetery, even though somebody does come with some kind of a tractor to maintain the grounds, maintain the, uh, the weeds uh, and the level of the grass, uh, this is uh, by far and large, uh, a forgotten cemetery uh, this was the uh, cemetery for a group of black people called the benevolent number 11 lodge uh, they were an offshoot of the benevolent society that was founded in Nashville Tennessee and then they started giving rights to people to start their own lodges in different parts of Tennessee uh, cemetery at least 600 people are buried here. Of course, you can see not that many stones. Maybe the stones of other people, you know, washed away, have been buried under the earth. Uh, a lot of times when people couldn't afford a stone because, you know, even back in those days, a, a stone wasn't uh, very, uh, very cheap. They were quite expensive. Uh, they would just use like wooden crosses to mark uh, where somebody was buried. And over time, they, those get eroded and blown away in the wind. Um, the benevolent uh lodge uh it was basically a black social group uh you know you joined and with that when you joined the lodge uh you you know you paid your monthly dues and in that when you died uh you were guaranteed a spot in this uh here cemetery a lot of veterans here are buried from the Spanish-American War. And uh, as of right now, the uh, last member of the lodge uh, died in 1988. And in his will, he uh, left the cemetery into the care of the Allen AME Church here of Murfreesboro. And as for right now, they don't really have the funds to clean up the cemetery and maintain it the way they want to uh, they hope in the near future that they'll be able to collect donations from people to do so so for right now uh, a pretty historical cemetery but uh, seems to be pretty forgotten I see a lot of graves uh, turned over uh, have fallen down and you know of course nobody here to pick them up I mean, this is a nice stone right here, and uh, Josephine K Kais, wife of Hazel Kais, Kaiser, excuse me. She was too good, too gentle, and fair to dwell in this cold world of care. And if I were strong, if I had the strength to pick that stone up in some kind of uh, adhesive to uh, glue it on the base, I would do so. And as I'm getting closer to the backside, uh, you can kind of see an encampment. It looks like some homeless people have set up shop over there. So maybe one day they'll be able to uh, accept, uh, get a, a large donation and uh, maybe uh, spruce the place up a little bit. As you can see, this grave right here, like many others out here, has been toppled over.
So you can see right here, there's like an encampment. Um, I've already called out if anybody was here. And uh, now this is where they have campfires at. Uh, for the most part, they seem to, even though it kind of looks like a mess, there's an encampment over there. They seem to, at least, you know, most, most encampments that I see, most encampments that I see, there's trash everywhere. And there is somewhat a lot of trash here, but they, they usually keep it pretty clean. Okay, there's, uh, this is the edge of the cemetery right here. We're in the very, very back right now. Uh, there's bunch of trash right here uh, got some uh, croissants uh, you know I don't really think the uh, I don't really think the uh, homeless people are gonna be really eating these so I think I'll just leave these out for the birds uh, I'm sure the birds will eat them So here you have just uh, pretty much a stack of graves, stones, uh, with no no etchings. You can barely see who they were. Uh, this one is just says died November 1947. Scales and Sons. Wow. This appears to be one of the very few graves I've seen right now that's somewhat maintained. Uh, it has a, somewhat of a border on it and somebody replaced place flowers on there. I see some flowers over there too. You can see right here, this was a grave. Uh, there's some, some sticks just like that grave over there bordering it, but it's all been buried uh, under earth. So this looks like it was a uh, a, a grave of two people, but they don't have a stone. I tried to pick this stone up to at least have it faced up so people could read the name and I cannot budge it. This thing must weigh at least, at least 250 pounds. I can't even move it. You would need to get about three guys just to pull it up onto its back. Which is a shame because it looks like a newer grave or at least a newer stone. You may not be able to tell from the size on your screen, uh, however, which way you're watching this, but this is a very, very small grave. I actually thought it was a baby's grave because the stone is so big. If you can see my hand in, rel in relation to the size, it's pretty, it's pretty small. Okay guys, that concludes the video. I'm taking off uh, onto the uh, next 
adventure, the next cemetery, the next crime scene. Uh, guys, please subscribe to my second channel, YouTube's Most Wanted. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. Live, but not live, but still alive by the grace of God. I'm Lamont at large. I'm here at the benevolent number 11 cemetery here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Peace out.